Hello everyone, I'm pharmacist and Jenna Lee today for the Thank a Farmer campaign brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance. Today we're in Janesville, Wisconsin at the Rebout Family Farms. And right now I'm joined by Doug Rebout. So Doug, can you explain a little bit about your family history in your dairy farm? Well, our farm started back in 1963. My mom and dad bought it and uh, they started with 240 acres and 40 cows. And now we're farming 4,000 acres, milking 160 cows. Now, it's not just you part of this family farm. Who's all in this farm operation? Uh, the farm right now, it's a partnership with my mother, me, and my two brothers, Daniel and David. Also a part of your farm, you're introducing UW Discovery Farms Different Research. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, we work with the uh, UW Discovery Farms. They have two stations on our farm to collect r water runoff um, through our waterways. And we're using this to see what kind of sediment and what is coming off of our field so we can learn how to do a better job of keeping our soil and everything there and not losing it with runoff. And why is it so important for farmers like you to be a part of this research with UW Discovery Farms? Because we're the ones out here doing the work and running the land. So we want to know, you know, what, with working with Discovery Farms, we want to know what is working and what isn't working because it's better for the environment and it's down the road, it's better economically too. You are in this dairy business with your family and you have been for a very long time. What do you enjoy most about being dairy farmers in Wisconsin and working with your family? Well, working with family at times can be tough, but overall it's pretty good. Um, it's just that feeling of coming outside, you know, every day it's something different where, you know, it's not always the same thing, whether we're taking care of the animals or taking care of the field work and just outside being in nature, it's, it's no better place. So Doug, right now we're in this calf feeding facility and barn. Can you describe how it's different than normal calf feeding on a dairy farm? Well, a lot of farms have the calf hutches where you go in and, you know, you, you give them their milk in the morning, give them their milk in the afternoon, and, you know, you bet them take care of them and stuff. Uh, but here in this barn, it's open housing where they come in from day one, basically, and they have computer chips in their ears that we go, and when they come in, we program each calf into the computer, and it, it gets to go in the stall and when it goes in the computer will read the chip and automatically feed that calf however much the computer is programmed for that age calf. And the calves look beautiful. How, how have you seen great benefits to the system? Well with this system instead of the calf being fed just twice a day they're, they're supposed to drink six times a day. So just like with humans where you eat more often in the day just less each time it's the same thing with the calves. They come in and drink six times a day instead of the two, and they're running around, they're getting their exercise, and they're coming out bigger and healthier than the, the calves that we had in hutches. And what advice would you give to farmers that are thinking of putting in a system like yours? Go around, look at a lot of farms, um, because every farm is gonna be different, and so get all the different ideas that are out there, and then take all those ideas back to your farm and figure out what's gonna work best for you. And if you could say one thing to consumers today about the dairy industry as well as your dairy farm, what would it be? Just that we're out here, we love our land, we love our jobs, and we're doing a great job. Um, and people are concerned about the environment and what farmers do. And we're out here, like I said, we're always learning, we're always trying to perfect things and stuff like that. Because this land that we're on, not only are the people out there using it, but we're raising our families on this land. We love this land. We want our families to be safe. So we're not going to do anything out here to jeopardize our family. And Doug, you just got a new gig within the agriculture industry within Wisconsin. Can you explain a little bit about it? Yes, I was recently elected as president of the Wisconsin Corn Growers. And what are you going to be doing in that position? Uh, Leading our all of our members, hopefully, uh, what we do is we go out to Washington, D.C. and up to Madison, and we lobby to make things easier for farmers. Great to hear.
year. Well, congratulations on this new position, Doug. For the Wisconsin Farm Report, I'm pharmacist and Jen Lee for the Thank a Farmer campaign. And remember, if you ate today, thank a farmer. Here in Janesville at the Rebout Dairy Farm, brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance.